BFC, it was um, a panel discussion. And what I found inspirational about it was, not only was the room so full, there were so many people that were interested in the conversation around gender nonconformity, gender fluidity, but the topics were really important. And I think it opened up a really important dialogue that happens to be needing to be heard. That's essential to be heard at this time. Fashion being progressive. I mean, you'd expect fashion to be at the forefront, but these marginalized communities of people that I am also a part of are just having our big hype, our big celebration now. Just to acknowledge, it's amazing that your brand is based on that support because we do need to celebrate and support internal communities that are being marginalized and not being represented at the highest form. We need to start treating talent like talent. Like, you're incredible, I celebrate you. Pay your local queens, show up to their gig, give them tips. That's so important because they have to pay for those costumes, their wigs. Platform and you have an audience and reach, it, you can get yourself to sit down amongst your community, amongst fashion, and express your truth. You're going to have change. So it's important for me to be able to take my message into the world, and that's the best way where people can sit with your eyes and hear your words firsthand. I was in between doing a light eye with a, a red lip for the look because the hair is um, black and like a pixie with little feathers. And then I thought about the fact that the runways, I was looking at the designer's work and oftentimes they do neutral face with a little bit deeper eye. So I wanted to be more conventional for the designer's approach. I usually like to use influence from the designer's approach and making my own, so I'm doing really black eye, elongated and glitter pressed in. So it's a little bit more dramatic. Erdem was beautiful. It was sophisticated, it was chic. The environment was so euphoric because it was the ambiance of nature and this aisle of trees, this the gravel, the pebble, the stones you walked through to get to the seating. And then the girls are walking and I loved Erdem because the casting was young and fresh. The makeup was absolutely stunning but clean. You saw different forms of beauty from around the world, cultural, ethnic, divine beauty. These girls are celebrated. These designers are giving them the time to build their lives from fashion, which I admire. And um, the clothing looked incredible on the girls. I love the hats the most. So I really can't wait to wear these big brimmed hats tied underneath your chin. And then to get backstage and to wait for the opportunity and the honor to talk with Erdem and having his admiration repeated back to me, it was like I was mirroring him I was seeing him uh, to congratulate him on a successful show and beautiful collection. And he was noticing the details for my look from the feathers to the crystals and um, my contribution in my own right in fashion. He's one of those people that just right away has um, like a gentleness, but a, an authenticity, which I crave the most in the world is authentic exchanges between people. I went full skill, high-end glamour drag. It's kind of like paying tribute to even my own history in fashion because I started with that kind of drag and then I've elevated my ideas to simplicity. How do you go higher than high drag? You, you start to go backwards and make it simply fashion. But for that, I felt like we need to go drama because showgirls need to show up at shows and that's a show to me. You know, it's, it's a flash photography, nightlife, dimly lit room, um, drinks, party, the whole thing. And love was special because um, Vivian Westwood sent me over this gorgeous peach dress, corseted like nobody's business. It was well received because everybody knows Westwood. 
and it's like it was a magnet so it made me feel really beautiful as well and feeling beautiful is powerful to me like beauty is a captivation it brings people in and then you can have conversation i felt a lot of love from people throughout the room there was a sense of admiration i always feel like it's you are the honey let the bees come to you you know just let them swarm to your hive i don't need to do much more So today is my last day with regards to London Fashion Week. I also did a look that I'm not conventionally known for, you know, extraordinarily smooth, long, Kristen McMenemy inspired hair. This giant, very camp drama silhouette dress. What a moment. Representing an artist and being able to being able to present myself in a way that was claiming a lot of space amongst a, a sea of extraordinary people. I mean, I got to see um, Karen Elson, Edward Enenfall, um, Ottawa, and to be able to see how much love and admiration this community has for Tim Walker, their personal experiences about what it's like to be on set with this level of talent, and then to walk through this exhibit where you are really moved. I felt like there was a form of you don't want to leave the space. You want to kind of live in these spaces. There was a dreaminess happening in this entire um, environment. So that's my London Fashion Week.